Hello, in today's Tinkercad lesson, I'm going to be showing you the simple heart ring lesson. First, let me show you how to get there. So go to Tinkercad.com. You'll log in with Google. It'll bring you to your dashboard, and you may not have anything on your dashboard. It depends on if you've done anything on here before. You will click on Learn. Make sure this is on 3D. You can check out my circuit uh, videos if you want to learn about circuits. You should have gone through these starters already. I do have a video on that. Feel free to check it out. You can click on Lessons. I have videos on all of these, as well as you click See All Lessons. I do have a video on the die from scratch. Uh, I'll be making a few of the others, but today is Simple Heart Ring. So click on Simple Heart Ring. If you've started this, uh, why don't you click Restart just so we can work from from the beginning together. Click start, and now you're in the simple heart ring. We'll wait a second for it to load. Uh, very important you use a mouse on this, okay? It's gonna make your life a lot easier. It says drag a heart shape to the work plane. So when I'm looking at this, that's not a heart. That is not a heart shape. And I have a feeling that they actually want us to drag that shape in. So if I click and I see tube, it's not a torus. You'll notice the sides are flat. The torus, the sides are curved. It's like a, a, a you know, a, a tube put together. So I guess, ah, whatever. Tube is good. <laughs> so we're going to click this tube. Now, we don't match the size, and it's not the same size. But let's, let's get our shapes out there, and then let's see our next step. So we have a heart, and we have a tube of some kind. Now I click. It says position. Uh, in the area in orange. Make sure the heart shape is intersecting, connected to the ring shape. Interesting. So I'm going to go back. These are bad directions, okay? Let's try to match the size, and you can actually look at mine to match it if you need it perfectly. I'll change my view by right-clicking. Obviously, we need this shorter, so I'm going to drag it shorter, this one. Drag it shorter until it matches the height. I believe that is correct. Now I need to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold shift because if I don't hold shift, when I change the size, you'll notice it gets long or tall. We don't want that. All right. So if I hold shift, then no matter what, the size stays in an equal ratio. And right there. So my measurements are 21 millimeters by 21 millimeters. You can click on the corner and just type 21, 21. The reason why I know it's in millimeters is because this is in millimeters. If yours isn't, you can click Edit Grid and change it to millimeters. You can have it in inches if you want, but it's just not going to match. All right, so we've got that in the perfect spot. Now we move to the next one. The heart obviously needs to be shorter. I'd imagine it needs to be the same height. So if we just look at our height again, it was 4.2 millimeters. So we can click here, we can type 4.2, press enter. Now we're the right height. Once again, we do want to do shift to change the size because we do not want it getting, you know, extra fat or extra tall. So I'm going to hold shift. Now you can just copy my, my dimensions if you want. I'm going to drag it till I believe it's about the right size. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's do that. That looks pretty good. Let's see. I can use my arrows to move it. Now, I can't align that perfectly. The reason why is the snap grid is only letting me move in millimeter increments. If I change that to a smaller one, now I'll have a lot more ability to move it into a better spot. Now, for some reason, that's not tall enough. Let's double check that. That was 4.2. Oh, it's because of when I dragged it. So let's make it tall again, 4.2. And then it's not perfect. And I don't like that. And so I do want to try to get it perfect. I think maybe we need to make it just slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Um, let's. I'm just going to do shift and drag it. And let's see if that will fulfill what we're looking for. I think that's it. That's perfect. All right, so the dimensions on the heart are 14 and a half by 13.32. You can click on a corner and you can type those in. The height is 4.2, and then this is 21 by 21. Now, I'd imagine we only have one thing left, so let's see. Select both shapes and group them. See, it's funny. This is not 
set up correctly. So just click it, drag over so you have both of them. Say group. And now because it's a heart, make it red. And then once you click off of it in a little bit, if they're the, actually the same height and they're not, now since that's a mistake, I want to undo. I'm going to undo twice. Remember, I dragged it so it changed the height. So let's change that back to 4.2 so it's the same height. Highlight both, group, and now we can change it to red. And that sure looks like a, a good heart ring to me. You could print that on a 3D printer. You could actually measure the person's finger that you wanted to fit, make it exact, and print it, and it would fit their finger. All right. Wonderful. So that is simple heart ring. And I hope it was pretty simple for you, but that was cool. I mean, this time we had to figure out the dimensions a little bit and move things around. So hopefully that was beneficial to you. Please like and subscribe, share with people that will benefit. Have a great day, everybody.